from Anshe Svar Beth El Emeth Congregation. It's time to take 10 minutes for Torah with Rabbi Joel Finkelstein. Welcome to our discussion of the special tshuva of Yom Kippur. At this time of year, whether it's in Elul, the month before Rosh Hashanah, whether it's during the 10 days of repentance from Rosh Hashanah's Yom Kippur, or on Rosh Hashanah itself, we're always told that we should do tshuva. It's a time of tshuva. Elul, Melech Basadeh, the, the God is so close, he's ready for us. During the 10 days of repentance, the Talmud tells us, Rosh Hashanah Yudchad, that, that God is particularly close to us during that time. And then uh, Yom Kippur, of course, a good time for tshuva. As a matter of fact, around writes Yom Kippur, Zman Tshuva Lakol. Tshuva, the Yom Kippur is a time for tshuva for everybody. Time for tshuva? Why do you need a special time for tshuva? What's wrong with doing tshuva any day? Why should Yom Kippur be so special? What's what's special about tshuva? You can do tshuva any day. Now, according to Rabbi Yona, the answer is there's a general mitzvah to do tshuva. Shavtad Hashem you should return to God, and then Yom Kippur is an additional mitzvah. And what is the special nature of that mitzvah on that day? Mitzvah on Yom Kippur is Lefnei Hashem Titaru. It's not the usual idea that, well, you did a sin, so now you have to rectify it by repenting from that sin. No. It's the idea of Tahara, of purifying our whole self. Yom Kippur is not about this or that sin. This Yom Kippur, I'm going to focus on Lashon Hara. It's not enough. You, We say, I'll hate this, I'll hate that. We confess for this, we confess for that. We confess for a whole laundry list because we're trying to do a total makeover. Yom Kippur is about a total makeover tshuva, not the mere picky yun tshuva of one mitzvah or another. So according to the Rebbein Yonah, there are two different mitzvahs. What's special about the about the tshuva of Yom Kippur? Number one, that on Yom Kippur you have two mitzvahs, the general mitzvah of tshuva and lefnei Hashem Tower to purify yourself in front of God on Yom Kippur. But in addition, it's different, because this is about total makeover by the total purification. Now the Rambam comes in two versions. Some say, and I thank Rabbi Tabori of blessed memory, one of my teachers, mentors, just recently passed away for this, this thought. The Rambam comes in two versions. One version is that the Rambam holds that teshuva is not a mitzvah. There are many authorities who say that. As a matter of fact, one modern Brisker said as follows, he said, it's a mitzvah to repent. The whole idea of repentance is tshuva, that the Rishus Adam, that we have volition. We choose to do tshuva. If there was a mitzvah to do tshuva, it ruins the whole thing. Let's say I speak Lashon Hara. I should want to not speak Lashon Hara. It's not that I violated God's will to speak Lashon Hara, and then, on top of that, I'm going to do the mitzvah that God said to repent. No. I, w- my will went against God's will to talk Lashon Hara, and now I should decide that I don't want to do it. So, Shuva should not be, as my son Asher pointed out, Shuva should not be a, a mitzvah. And there's an argument like that. Maybe the Rambam holds it. There's no mitzvah of Shuva. There's a mitzvah to confess. That's a different thing. But on Yom Kippur, the Rambam writes that Yom Kippur was man Shuva call. Yom Kippur Everybody has to do tshuva. So that's the only time there's an obligation. Otherwise, there's no obligation. It's a mitzvah to confess at all times. But on Yom Kippur, it's a mitzvah to, uh, to do the tshuva. It's the only time there's a mitzvah because this is a special, this is a very special time. Now, some say that the Rambam thinks there is tshuva. There is confessional. But the Rama makes a distinction. She says, It's a time for individual repentance, which you can do any day, and it's a communal repentance. It's not the same thing to do tshuva in the presence of all the Jewish people today and that ever lived and ever will live, and to do tshuva on my own on a Tuesday. It's completely different. And therefore, according to the version of the Rambam that we would say that the Rambam says there is a mitzvah of tshuva, which is to confess. According to that, the difference between Yom Kippur tshuva and the other tshuva is that only in Yom Kippur is there a special obligation to do tshuva altogether. But still we can ask ourselves, you do tshuva on Yom Kippur other times, it's really the same thing, isn't it? 
repent. Let's say on a Tuesday I wake up and I say, I want to do a total overhaul. So then how is it that tshuva different from Yom Kippur? So the answer is, what is tshuva? A mabit, a Moshe ben Yosef, Trani, son of the Marit, contemporary of the Shulchan Aruch, of the Yosef Kara in Sfat. He said, what is tshuva? Tshuva means get, to get close with God. So now we understand the difference in Yom Kippur tshuva and the not Yom Kippur tshuva. If tshuva was to confess my sins, I confess the sins any day you want. But if tshuva is to get close to God, and if the Gemara in Rosh Hashanah 18, 18 says that what? That, that the time when God is close is the time between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. And if we know that the, that the, whole, the representative of the Jews, namely the high priest, the Kohen Gadol, went into the Holy of Holies on Yom Kippur, so we know that it's a time of tremendous closeness with God. If Yom Kippur is a time when all the Jews, through our representative, the Kohen Gadol, the high priest, go into the Holy of Holies, then it must mean that it's a time when it's easy to get close. You see, if God is coming closer, then he's already down here. All I have to do is this. So it's a time when it's easier to do tshuva. Why is it special? It's special because it's a time when it's so easy. He's so close, and you don't have to come that far. And that explains why it says in this week's Parsha that this mitzvah of tshuva, it's not far from you, because God is always waiting. He's waiting for us to do tshuva. Thanks to Jason Lefkowitz for producing today's, today's show, as usual. And thanks to all of you for joining us here at the Anshay Safari Beth Alman Congregation here in Memphis, Tennessee. Join us each week for a discussion of the holidays, the Parsha, and our how-to videos. Thank you. This has been 10 Minutes for Torah with Rabbi Joel Finkelstein. To learn more, visit asb.org.